What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be finishing up arrays with array deletions, part two of the video. And in the first video, we covered insertions. So if you're looking for insertions, check out part one. And if you're looking just for an overview of arrays in general, once again, check out part one. So on onward, we are going to be deleting from the end of an array and deleting from the end of array really isn't that difficult. So we go in here, we have like an eight in here and literally all that's gonna happen is we're just gonna blow off this part of the array. Like this part of the array is going to disappear, so to speak. It's not gonna disappear from memory. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make it so that the length is trimmed down so that whenever we iterate over it into uh, a, like an, an algorithm, it will not actually be, it will still be there, but it'll still show up. And um, that's kind of what we want when we're pragmatically, you know, coding a lot of these algorithms. You don't really want, you can't delete like the end of the array, you know, the array is fixed. So what you want to do, like I said, you want to just literally, um, I guess like imaginatively or programmatically delete the end of the array because you can't, it's fixed, you can't really go back in you know time and delete it or you would have to go back in time to delete it so we just we shorten the length and if that's confusing you know don't worry because i'm going to explain it here in a second so what we want to do we want to go in here and we're going to go int array we're just going to declare like a good old array again and then we're going to let's do nine we're going to declare nine in here and then as always we need to have that length and we need to have that length because if you iterate over this length, the length that we have with actually built into the int array, like here, you know, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you've taken any beginner program courses, you have a length. That is not really, that's just the capacity. It's not actually tracking anything. And we can't really manipulate that value. So that's the reason that we need to actually declare a length. Now we need to go into this and we need to actually populate it with some values like if we just don't have any values it doesn't really even make sense either and we're going to give the way that we're going to do this is we're just going to make a good old for loop and we're going to give it six values I'm having trouble here i plus plus go down here declare that and we're just going to go into our int array and for each part we're gonna go into the length and we're going to actually add. And then after each running of this for loop, we're gonna decrement it. So if we don't decrement, if we just didn't decrement it, it would, it would just sit there and replace like the same value over and over. So we need to make sure that we're actually incrementing that length, otherwise it's not going to work. Then we're gonna go down here, we're gonna go down here, and this is going to be the easiest one that you'll probably ever ever see. Deleting from the end of an array is like super easy, but it can kind of trip you up. Um, let me show you what I mean. So here, I'm actually going to go I'm gonna go in here. I'm actually going to show you guys. So got our length and we need to um, make sure that this part is the length right here. Do not do int array dot length. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And this kind of goes back to what I'm saying before. You can't, since you cannot actually delete, like the, since an array is fixed, you can't actually delete the end of it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go into this. So we're gonna go console dot right line. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna spit out all the elements in that array and show you guys what I'm talking about. And if you're coming in from another, if you're coming in from another video, what I like to do is I like to go down here and I like to add watches. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run this and I've already got these watches down here and what it does is it creates like a little window for your variables that you only want to watch. And what I do is I go add watch and I'm gonna go down here and you can see what's happening. So compare these two. Let's just let's just run through it, and I'm going to show you something very peculiar. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be very representative of what we're trying to do here. So we're going to go down here, and we've got our our array is full, but we didn't actually delete anything. Like that does you'd be like, well, Teddy, like I'm looking in my watch right here. I'm not actually seeing anything being deleted. 
But then I iterate through this length, length, and then you will see the actual value, or you'll see, I'll show you, you'll see the actual values. All right, I'm just actually gonna delete this, and then I'm just gonna run it. So when you actually run it, you actually do get one that's being popped, or one that's being logically taken off. It's being logically, it's not, it still exists in memory because the array is fixed, but it's logically taken off. So if we were to actually use this algorithm, it's literally like we deleted one from the end of it. And that is, in a nutshell, what we want. To, it's really easy. All you have to do is just take, you just have to decrement the length if you're trying to actually delete something from the end of the array. And that's going to be the most simple array deletion that you're probably ever going to have to have. Now, we're going to delete from the start. We're going to stop drawing. So deleting from the start. So... I'm going to get out my handy pen here and I'm going to kind of just logically show you guys how this happens. So we're going to delete from the start. That's blown away. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to go actually move all these over. And I'm just going to go here, delete this one. And I'm going to change this to red so you guys can see it. And what's going to happen is this one's going to go over here. This one's going to go over here. This one's going to go over here. This one's going to go over here, over here, over here. And... I'm gonna wipe out all these numbers because they're gonna to be totally different. Go down here, wipe all these out. And what's gonna happen is, is our array is going to look like this. It's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven. And everything's moved over and we've actually got a real deletion. All right, so I'm gonna go back into Visual Studio. Then I'm going to go down here and actually do the algorithm for this to for this to actually happen. So remember delete that length if you want to follow along. You could you could you could leave it if you wanted to, but I suggest you leave it uh, follow along. And we want to have that one there, otherwise it's going to um, not move over the first one. So we're gonna go in here, make sure make sure that one's there. Otherwise, not gonna work. Or you'll get an out of bounds exception. And we're gonna go in here. Then we're gonna go int array. We're gonna go i. And then when we want to move something to the left, we uh, use a negative one as opposed to a positive one. Then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go int array. We're gonna go i. And that should do it. And it had that red squiggle, but the red squiggle's gone. And of course, you always want to logically remove, you always want to take off that last one. You always want to decrement the length after you get done doing any of these operations. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna decrement that length and let's watch what happens. So we're gonna go into our debugger. We've got our watches set up. It's gonna go ahead, declare it. Let's go ahead, bust open that little array right there, see what's in it. We're gonna go in, we're gonna add, add some values. Okay, and then watch what happens. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move all of that over, then we're gonna take off that length. Go ahead, iterate through all of this. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's uh, the debugger with the console is kind of finicky, so I'm just gonna take off this debugger and we're just gonna run it run it without the debugger and you see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's correctly taken off the zero at the beginning of it and we've got our perfect little uh, array right here. We've got all of our values and we've got a nice logical array. So we've done that. Now we're going to move on to the very last one and we can actually leave all of this down here and I'm just gonna bring this up here because we're kind of, uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on and this is going to be what actually prints it. Okay, so then the last one whew, is deleting anywhere from an array. So let's just say we are going to delete number five and we're gonna draw like a green circle around to denote which one that we want to actually delete. So when we delete number five, 
what we're going to do, we're going to blow it away. And we're going to go in here. We're going to move all of these over. So we're going to go boom, boom. Then after we get done with that, what it's going to look like is not going to have that anymore. Not going to have that anymore. Then what we're going to have is we're going to have a six. A six, that looks terrible. So I'm going to redo that. And I will, I'm about to invest in a Wacom tablet here in a second. So bear with me here. So we're going to have a six. We're going to have a seven. That one's going to be empty and it's going to be blown away. So let's go ahead, get rid of that. And I'm going to show you guys what to do. So we're going to go in here. And as always, we've got our int, we've got i, we've got is equal to two. Then we're going to go into our length. We go i plus plus. Then go down here. We're going to go int array is equal to i minus one. And then we're going to move all these over. So this is going to be like what moves over all of the arrays. And we're going to go int array again. We go down here. And remember, whenever you see something like this, that means it's moving it over to the left. So we're moving that over to the left. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go I minus. And if you notice, it's literally no different from the beginning. It's just that we're actually starting from the length. And we're, we're going to delete. We're going to, it's actually starting with the length as opposed to uh, the other one where we're starting at a specific area. So this one, we're going to start at two and you can, wherever you want to change it and wherever you, whatever number you want to blow away is going to be, or delete is where you're going to manipulate that. So we're going to go say, we're going to, we want this to be number four. So we're going to go in and watch what's going to happen. It's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to go, it's going to declare all these beautiful little values it's going to fill it full of beautiful values look at that then it's going to go down here and as you can see let me show you so we got a zero and for some reason debugger is not working good with the console log so i'm just going to get rid of it i'm going to show you exactly what pops up and right here we have zero one two three four five and if we want to change where the actual value is that we want to um, actually delete, that's what you do right there. So if you wanted to do three, you could do three. You could do three right here. You can delete values based on wherever that you want to. You just have to manipulate this, this three right here. And that's kind of like an important concept to remember because it's gonna help you a lot in the future be in, uh, allow you to be able to, you know, see which one that you want to delete anyway that's the video on array deletions that was a harrowing experience i hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as i did if you liked this video make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching